Hey, what's up everyone? It's Bobby. Today I have a real quick video for you guys. Now, uh, if you guys didn't already know, Apple is planning on holding a keynote event on next Wednesday. Today is Wednesday the 20th, and next Wednesday will be January 27, 2010. Apple is planning on hosting a keynote event with the tagline, hold on, let me get this up here, come see our latest creation. Now, what this event is supposed to be about there's been rumors going around for months now about what this event's going to be about, and it's supposedly rumored to be the announcement of Apple's tablet. Now, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen tons of other videos talking about the rumors, and I'm not posting my final rumors video until probably this weekend, a little closer to the event date. But what this video is going to be is just talking about this tagline, and also I wanted to give you guys some links to some cool videos showing different tablet concept applications, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is like I said the concept of the tablet and the tagline of this video. So let's just talk about this first. Now Apple sent out some press invitations for this media event called with this little picture right here with this art splatter design with the Apple logo and it says come see our latest creation. Now usually when Apple for the as history has shown us when Apple is going to be announcing a uh, event or some sort of um, product announcement thing they whenever they're announcing something new they always have a tagline that is similar to uh, the product that they're going to be announcing and if we look back when the original iPhone was announced all the banners and all the taglines for the event was we need to talk we need to talk and obviously the talk is referring to the phone feature on the iPhone so that was just an indicator to what we were going to be seeing and when the MacBook Air was originally announced the tagline was there's something in the air there's something in the air there was all these uh, taglines were saying there's something in the air today something along those lines and the product that came out was the MacBook Air so now uh, Apple has come out with this picture saying come see our latest creation with this kind of artsy design uh, it's making me wonder and I'm sure lots of every, uh, other people wonder um, what could this be about? What does this have to do with the product? Now, there's been all sorts of different people invited to this media event. Um, everybody from just different case manufacturers to game developers. A lot of game developers have been invited to this. So uh, it's definitely going to be something new that Apple's announcing as it says, come see our latest creation. So it's probably not just going to be an update of stuff that's already invented. Uh, it's definitely going to be something new, and it's been rumored for years that Apple's been working on a tablet, and I'm going to talk more about the rumors in a later video. This isn't a rumors video, but this is definitely going to be where we're going to hear about this tablet, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about this tagline. So with all these, uh, with everyone talking about the tablet, a lot of people are wondering what this tablet's going to look like, what the advantages of this tablet are going to be and um, what people's use for this tablet will be. Now, a lot of people have been saying that it's just going to be like an iPhone on steroids or an iPod Touch on steroids, just a 10-inch iPod Touch or a 10-inch iPhone with nothing more than maybe an ex uh, nothing more than what you already get with your iPod Touch or your iPhone, except for it'll just have a bigger screen and uh, possibly be an e-book reader. Now, there's been... Uh, what I think Apple is definitely has to do with this event is uh, they definitely have to market it as a ebook reader or a book reader or something along that lines of like a personal book management device or something along that lines. And to give you kind of an idea of what uh, that I mean by that and what the future of this tablet would look like, lots of different companies have been developing their own apps or programs of such. Uh, in anticipation of this device, and I found a collection of some really cool videos that definitely show what apps would look like on a device like this and I definitely think these are helpful in understanding what Apple's going to be marketing this device as and I've seen lots of videos talking about these lots of videos talking about the event and all the rumors and stuff like that but I haven't seen any videos talking about different uh, tablet pictures and videos and stuff like that so I'm gonna put a link to all these videos and I'll probably update it as we get closer and closer to the event and I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of them right now uh, they're all on YouTube. So here is a tablet concept for the Guinness Book of World Records. And as you see, it's using the multi-touch, nice cover flow looking and 
It show, it's like a digital book. It's a digital Guinness Book of World Records. And I think this is really going to revolutionize the way print media is viewed and things like that. There's lots of videos here. I I'm not going to go through all of them. Here's an app for an IKEA catalog. So say you're looking for through an I a digital IKEA magazine. I think these were made by the same people as the last video I just showed you. But as you guys see, it's just showing you what it would be like to plan out a room or browse through an IKEA catalog or any catalog of that sort and try out different colors and stuff like that on this tablet device. Now this is definitely going to revolutionize the way we use media and things like that. So I'm just going to go through these and show you. This is the Course Smart tablet. This one's really cool. This is this is uh this one is a demonstration of the uh, ebook reader or the textbook reader. It gives you the option to highlight all your text do a universal search, you can take notes, you can zoom in, you can email snippets of the thing, you can view it in portrait and landscape, all these different things. Um, this is just what the companies themselves have been thinking of. But imagine a company like Apple, a company as innovative as Apple, trying to uh, discover something like this or uh, work out something like this. It's just really, really uh, amazing to think about what it's going to be like 10 years from now and how this technology is going to revolutionize uh, print media or just digital media change the way we work with things. I mean, it's going to be awesome. This one, uh, what's this? Oh, this is actually a pretty long one. This one is talking about all the magazine interface with um, tablets and stuff like that. It actually does give you some cool uh, ideas of what magazines are going to look like on a product like this. Here's another one, Sports Illustrated. This one's really cool. I've used this in a previous video, actually, just as the background video. It kind of gives you an idea of what a digital Sports Illustrated would look like. And if you guys didn't catch that, when you open it up, it's going to show you a video, and then it'll pause at the, it'll show you a video of the actual highlight picture, and then it pauses on the actual cover picture. So, I mean, there's endless possibilities for this. You can look through your magazine and uh, like say you see a cool picture and there's a caption, you can tap on the picture itself and it'll play the actual scene. I mean, there's endless possibilities. And they also talk about a digital Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition, which I think is pretty awesome. So, I mean, there's just lots of stuff you can do. Um, all these videos and I'll be updating these as I find better videos and stuff like that. You guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'll be posting videos like this that I find uh, the closer and closer we get to the tablet. This isn't exactly a specific tablet design video. This one just shows you all these cool different Apple tablet, Apple prototype concept products that people have uh, mocked up in Photoshop and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. And then this is the last one I have right here. Um, this is just a digital magazine prototype. It shows you what it'd be like to see if you didn't catch that. It's just you're browsing through your magazines um, and you're able to just browse through them like a normal magazine. I mean, it's really cool what we're going to be able to do. So I've talked enough about this. All the links will be in the description one of these ways. I think it's this this way or this way. I don't know. So make sure you guys go check those out. Um, make sure you guys leave a comment. And if you find a video that's cool, make sure you leave a comment. Tell us what it's called in the description below. Uh, if you want to make a similar rumors video or any kind of video similar to this one, make sure you post it as a video response. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are getting excited for this tablet. And if the tablet does come out and it is similar to this, will you go get one or do you not think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments or video response below. Rate five stars and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And by the way, if you guys didn't know this, I haven't really made a public announcement. But I started a personal channel where I, I'm going to be doing more personal videos like vlogs, not necessarily all vlogs, but um, just more personal videos and any other video that I make that I don't want to put on my main YouTube channel, which is more of a professional channel here. So if you guys like me and you want to go watch that, make sure you guys go subscribe to that channel because I will be updating that pretty regularly. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.